Hello everyone, this is Grayshot117 here, bringing you a company for us to replay, brought to you by DownPT, the a 2 v 2 game on da -da -da, Road to Kharkov. So again, thank you for sending me this awesome replay. If you would like to send in your own replay, you can do so uh, via Facebook or my Gmail account. Both are located in my on my YouTube section. So yeah, send it in and I'll take a look. And also, happy Valentine's Day. I'm recording this on Valentine's Day because it's a holiday weekend and I just wanted to take a break during the weekend. It's one of the few times I'll actually take a break. So that's why there was uh, no content. But I hope everyone had a great holiday weekend. Um, hopefully for those who get off, got off, or at least you got to do something nice. I saw Deadpool. Hope Again... I'm about well. I'm, anyway, I'm about to see Deadpool. Hopefully, it's good. Yeah, see Deadpool. And uh, the day before, I went. Why is there? I'm offline. Hold on. Anyway, now that Steam wants to listen to me, let's watch this game, shall we? Stern Pioneers moving into infantry section. Infantry section are very long range, but Stern Pioneers would technically have won that engagement if they kept fighting. But as we can see here, they move back because of this Vickers machine gun, which would tear it apart. But you know, they're already being torn apart. Do at this point just retreat it. Yeah. So let's see, we have a machine gun spammer over here. I'm, I'm joking. There's only not two machine guns, not that bad. Uh, wow, okay. And yeah, this guy's going a little bit more heavy infantry section. We'll see actually which one works. But again, they're two different play styles. Let's see, down PT went the Vanguard Operations Regiment. I like this because you get the crocodile. Strafing support's good for holding an area. And also, raid operations good for taking territory in the front lines. Vehicle, or, like all these are great. Except for the poor logistics glider. I really don't like this because, like I said... It's kind of a major sticking point, easy for the enemy to see, and easy for it to bomb. I like his idea to try to run around, but... Eh, actually, maybe not. I mean, if he knew he was going to die, at least he got it out of there before dying. So, whatever. Oh, they're trying to all-focus fire. And this is the problem. They're all focusing on this poor infantry, which is going to escape. That They kind of felt forgot about this unit, and now there's a Vickers machine gun about to tear them apart. So, you know, whatever. Should not have pushed. Anyway, uh, the vehicle or crew repairs is great because it'll drop smoke on a damaged vehicle and repair it, make it, and also pretty much make it hard, impossible for a vehicle to hit it unless it does direct target. Ellie went, let's see, loop of a ground forces. On this map, I can see it because there's lots of buildings so you can deploy false makers behind enemy lines. Also, dude, you need to capture this territory to reconnect because as you can see, the fuel is not connected until you capture this territory. So there you go. That's a little fun fact for you. This map essentially is like layered with these like hidden points that cut off territory. It's very interesting. Very nice. Oh, retreat. Dude, retreat. Wow. They're actually retreating when I ask him to retreat. That's a first. Breakthrough Doctrine. That's also pretty good because again, you get the Yag Tiger. You get assault artillery, which will hit a po uh, artillery around a specific point. Pins full sleeves are good anti-infantry uh, infantry units uh, with some AT component, but they're, again, designed for long-range combat. While the Sturm Officer is great for boosting morale, but also you kill it, everyone retreats like crazy. It's great. Now, let's see. Let's look at their ranks. Because, again, we want to see their... Oh, my God. Well, this should be an interesting game. Oh, no, it's fine. We just have two low-level guys. Like I said, rank means nothing, but... As shown here, as this guy flanks around and knocks out the MG. Again, going undetected and making sure you can easily push back this MG. Royal Engineers moving up, but again, Stern Pioneers should beat these, even though uh, Royal Engineers are very good close range. Oh, wow, never mind. Stern Pioneers getting their butt whoop. Infantry section coming around the corner. Lots of dead people over here. Again, Stern Pioneers, amazing close range, but you need to get them in heavy cover and close. And then they just start owning. So what we're going to see here, we're going to see these infantry section retreat and die. Because again, these things are great. Now we have an MG coming over here, kind of trying to suppress these troops. They're also trying to knock out this fuel cache. Probably can't do it with one infantry. You probably need two or some anti-tank units or an armored unit. OKW okay, currently have both points. We have over here and the midpoint. Uh, they should probably take the right point as well. Also, I find it that the biggest hurdle right now is there are these guys not capturing this territory. But that's just me. Um, also, they have the ability... I don't like this. Breakthrough tactics. I know people are like, oh my god, you can neutralize uh, territory really quick. It's like, yeah, but it's... Again, read it. 
it's um enemy territory is wait enemy territory oh never mind i'm thinking of another i'm thinking i think mobile defense with which is neutralized territory uh what is this guy doing this giant fortified line i could see it being okay but i could also see me being a huge detriment also again when you build stuff your units are in very very um uh, vo uh, very, very vulnerable to incoming fire, so you have to watch out about that. Anyway, we can see here this guy has... Uh, actually, not that many troops from this guy. Oh, wow, okay, so down PT as a sniper. Very interesting. And actually seems to be gaining more ground. Wow, as the uh, dodge guy on this left side seems to be holding his ground a lot more. Nice sniper again. Held in the distance, picking off Volk Squad. Volk Squad would typically uh, be around for a lot longer, but with the sniper, you could easily pick this guy off. So again, very nice. And again, the British Sniper is great because it is specialized in anti-vehicle components. You can neutralize a vehicle when it's once vetted. And even, once, even when it's not vetted, the great thing about the Sniper is the fact that it has armor-piercing ground. So actually damage armored cars and even some light tanks and even medium tanks for that matter. I've actually seen it even kill a heavy tank. It is possible. It's rare, but it's possible. Um, also, I've seen... Okay, terrible push. I don't know what this guy's doing again for quote unquote like again I, you want to get this heavy cover you don't want to just circle because the heavy cover the reason I say this very simple they get a faster fire rate in the middle of nowhere they won't also I love what this guy's doing just putting his kubo in the middle of it so they keep running around unable to shoot the vicar is unfortunately that was we can see because it has a star he has a farther fire uh, fire rate and because second star it has better penetration so yeah I know finally memorized some of, oh, some of the stars I know after how many replays this guy got a flag half track, which means he got an HQ truck, which means we could maybe see some support guns, a half track, uh, infrared, yeah, and then this baby. This baby has a flak cannon that is designed to take out pretty much any, I do mean any light vehicle that uh, like armored car, not tank. Um, although it could probably stand an armored tank, and also it is designed to fight against aircraft and will shoot down enemy planes. Now we do have a armored car coming into the fray, but they do have Panzer Shreks. That being said, we do have a nice Vickers machine gun suppressing this guy. Again, the Vickers gets that long range. The armor is so again it can suppress while the armored car can snipe. Now, if this guy was stupid, he would move up his flag track. And yeah, that's exactly what he did. He keeps doing it. I don't understand why he's doing this. Actually, the red guy also went HQ, so if they both went HQ. Oh my god. Really? You got this hat? Okay, you got in it. This should be interesting. This thing is a flak in placement. It's good for tearing apart infantry, but very e very vulnerable and very easy to kill. But, apparently, if, you can, if it's a good support unit, it's actually pretty powerful. Oh my god. Armored car walking out of there. Wow, the Kubo unfortunately met its untimely demise. Did they take out the... Yeah, they just... Oh my god, they just moved the snipers over and picked it off. That's all they did. That's great. Again, you can just shoot the guys out of it. See these two men? Very easy to kill. Oh wow. You know how I know they were shot by the sniper? His arm and torso was blown off. Kind of a good, uh... Kind of a good, um... You know, piece of evidence right there. Now... If they wanted to, I would actually try to push up and try to neutralize some of this territory. That way you could cut off the enemy's flow of supply. Because as you can see right now, the British are getting 38 and 47, while the Axis are getting 32 and 20. So right now the British have the advantage, uh, both in resources and actually, if you look here, they most, actually, yeah, they definitely do. They have more manpower. So right now the OKW is fighting with less men, with less resources. And unfortunately, as we can see here, they're not doing all that well. Now, nice try. Again, Volk squads can throw fire grenades. You want to throw them in the building, and that way you can kill off the MG. Okay, I hate when this happens. Relic, if you could fix one thing. when it, it, Can you please, so that way when you're in a building, you can just hit retreat. And the unit will automatically get out of the building and retreat. It's not the... Oh my god, he just blew up. Oh my god. That monster, look what he's doing. 
one bullet is causing his entire body to spontaneously combust. It is absolutely terrifying. Anyway, we can see over here this guy is preparing an assault, but like I said, he doesn't have that many troops. And Soyvent, Soylent? So we've L, Dodge, Soylent, and Down, PT. Um, anyway, this Dodge guy is pushing up at this position. Again, he has no idea if there's any armor, if there's anything like that. Now, again, he's doing the flag track. As you can see here, this flag track is doing okay. We do have armor piercing rounds, though. So it is doing damage. And now we have the armored cars inbound. And again, the armored car is a very, very good vehicle. Designed to pretty much take me out up to... I've seen these things like fight off Panzer IVs. Also, they have uh, really cool supplies that like detread a vehicle. So, again, if they can get vetted up. So, they're really, really nice support tanks. Now, as we see, use bum rushing for Kenworth for firing along with the Panzer Shrek if you would tell them to. Nice kill. Oh, abandoned. Oh, no, you kill it. All right. Good job. Again, hidden for Kenworfer is probably the best thing you can have. Now this red guy, unfortunately, is coming over to help, again, his teammate. Because, you know, Dodge is like, well, I need a little bit of support. And he's like, oh, that's fine. Did you just deploy a Falschermaker from a... whatever. The problem with these two is the fact they can't keep their units alive. They're bad at retreating. Also, there's a ton of fuel right here. Decommission it. You still have the Kubel here. Decommission it. That's at least 15 fuel. I say more if you get the, you know, the, the doctrine that, you know, can get more munitions and stuff from it. You, why do you sending a Falsham Mager straight into the line? Anyway, as you can see here, the infantry were upgraded. Okay, so we went Commando Regiment. You have your Bomb Strike, Commandos Collider, which are, and Commandos are Short Range Infantry, which are great. Um, also, you get the Mortar Cover, which is good for White Phosphorus and just mortars hitting a specific area. Dude, this guy is being really annoying with uh, like with the snipers, and I, I congratulate this guy. Again, moving up and trying to pick off guys at his base. I'm assuming that's what he's doing. Something happened over here where this guy lost a lot of men right now. So, I'm assuming the snipers did it or a random grenade. One of the two. I'm, I'm going to say the mortar because we can see over here, you can see the little mortar impression. But it, I, the snipers probably give it recon and let them know, hey, all these units are here, target fire. Anyway, as you can see here, this guy got the upgrade for the infantry with the Piots and Brens. And you can see here he got Piots because, again, the Piots are essentially uh, medium-range anti-tank grenades. Like, essentially, noob tubes that are also very, very good against armor. And this guy just made a critical mistake. Don't get something that failed. This thing failed, move on. No, he's going to use a lot of his fuel to get this thing. Well, Ellie over here has done enough manpower but has a ton of fuel and should... And I do mean should be placing down the building. That way he can stop in the inbound attack. I like this guy. Like, again, the, the HQ uh, flak track would have been great. Again, setting positions. That way, again, you can defend your guys. Here's a tip, though. Don't put it so close. Commando bombing, boom, boom. Both dead. Anyway, especially when versing two British. Play in the mines. Very nice. Actually, if you want to be a really big dick, play in a mine right by the front door. So when they deploy Spalschmakers, kaboom. Oh, what a wonderful surprise. Snipers, 12 kills and 9 kills respectively. Very nice job. The Kevin Warfare is trying to pick him off. Flag track could, though. Oh, he moved up to call in smoke. For those who don't know, again, what this is, essential. Oh, it's white phosphorus. It's this special mortar cover. So you get white mist mix of explosive and white phosphorus shells hitting this area, and boo bada bing, slowly destroying it. Again, we do have a Volk squad trying to pick off this MG, which I don't know why this guy's retreating. You're probably going to lose. Yep, there you go. Again, he probably deployed it, and then it deployed itself. So, honestly, I don't think that was his fault. I think that's the game's fault. So, again, I, I think there's plenty of people who can confer that, for whatever reason, in this game, when you retreat MG, it will some, half the time it will place itself, which really, really sucks. Also, as you can see over here, because the fact that Ellie's on the left side, Down is like, hey, what's up? I'm just going to take some territory. You know, hey. He also got himself a Bover and a Mortar emplacement to guard over this very vital point. And also, the Major, um, he can technically guard over this point as well. The uh, Bover has very, very long range. It can, I think, get up to right, right by this tree and also maybe this building. So, very good. Also, I love the mines everywhere. Really do. Really, really nice. 
got this thing back, because why not? Reman is MG. That being said, he might be trying to place it, but with the Volk Squad, that's a very, very bad idea. Armored Car and them taking a lot of damage. Wow, the double team might actually be working. Finally, the hat track did something good. They pushed up, I think, a little too close. I think they're maybe trying to go for that half track before it deployed, but yeah, it did go. Also, I love how this truck is blocking the other truck from firing. And once again, the Piat's showing how good they are for killing, killing the for Ken Warfare with these. But as you can see here, Soyvin just lost a lot of his men. He has a lot of manpower back uh, stocked up. And let's see. Oh, wow, he's not retreating at all. Dude, retreat. Oh, wait, this thing's gonna... Nope, never mind. He ran this way. Very lucky. Very lucky he didn't die. Commando's coming in. We do have a bunch of Volk squads moving up. Again, this guy just got seriously wrecked. Like, rickety, rickety wrecked. And again, his mortar placement's gone too. So, yeah. Trying to kill that one infantry. Not gonna work. It's gonna escape. They're gonna keep trying to focus on this. That being said, Ellie lost a lot of troops as well. As you can see, only two forces. But he still has a lot of manpower. Soy event, though. Soy event. What do you have? You have this, but you do not have a command cup post. So, even with 300 fuel, you don't have enough to, well, you have enough to upgrade, but you don't have enough to get a tank. And right now, a uh, tank would pretty much be the KO movement. So, kind of surprised you haven't gotten that. You really should have. Um, I get you want to try to get commandos. You want to try to attack them from behind. But you also kind of know they have a flat calf track, so you know that's really not going to work. Great job. You knocked off the territory, but hey, just saying... This point, like, stops everything. Not this point. I know you want to cough their fuel, but this would cough their fuel and everything else. They destroyed the plane, so no more free recon. I, uh, it, the plane offers free recon to the allies, but if it gets destroyed, there's no recon. And probably these commander units are probably going to die. So, honestly, Soylent, you should have probably have not done, you know, that whatever. I mean, you probably should have... I... I kind of like doing the plane. I also like doing the plane glitch where there was a time where you could tell the plane it would crash into the o OKW trucks and it would kill them. That was OP. But if for those who did it, it was freaking fantastic to see a giant plane crash and take that out. And then you caught the commando bombing run. Anyway, of all the stuff you can call in, I do feel like this is a bad move. My I mean, don't get me wrong. Centaur is great, but I feel like, again, they do have a lot of AT. And you probably want something with better armor. Um, I'm not saying a Sherman Firefly or Cromwell would have been better. I'm saying probably stay up for a Comet, in my opinion. But it's a, th it's a, it's a thought. Armor is in the right direction. Armor is definitely in the right direction. So as you can see, they're pushing up infantry. But again, he needs to fall back. There's no way... He oh, wait, no. He can, because the sniper. I forgot. The, sni ready to the, sni the sniper picking it off. I almost forgot about it. So yeah, he could kill it. just retreat dude I these guys are oh he ran up to do ladies and gentlemen we have bombers and now even yag pans are coming up but here's the thing I'm gonna pull back a little bit have a nice scenic view and let the bombs fly And that's, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't put two HQ buildings so close to each other. Nice, Yagpanzer again, easily pushing back the Centaur. Centaur's running away. Like, nope, I'm not dealing with this. And now Soylent is down to no units. Yeah, probably it was, uh, you know, hopeful and trying to get something else or, I don't know, anything else would have been probably good. I'm not trying to be mean, but I mean, having some type of frontline force is good compared to your teammate, who has actually a decent wide range army. And don't, don't say, oh, great shot. Um, he killed all my force. Like, dude, you didn't retreat. You took, like, there's a difference between not knowing how to retreat and taking a risk. And you took a, you tried to do a big risk. I know the difference between pushing and trying to kill someone's men and then pushing and kind of like, oh, I, this unit just like was left there to die. You pushed up your forces in effort to kill his men and it backfired tremendously, Soylent. Tremendously. Now, while I do concur that your bombing strike did great damage on the enemy, the problem is also you 
I can still gather fuel and other resources. So, and they're slowly pushing up because they're working together. That being said, I do feel like down BT, you aren't exactly supporting him too much. But that being said, I take it back because you do have a snipers and of infantry holding mid. So honestly, the guy just has to hold his left flank. Or, or in this case, right flank, depending on which angle you look at. Um, I like how he's over here waiting for like, hey, can you have a heal? No, he doesn't. He has no men at all. And you get yourself a firefly. Oh, God. Okay, so here's something. Don't do this. You know they have... Why would you go for a firefly? You know they have a lot of AT forces. You want to go for something that's good all around. That can deal with the infantry. So you want to go with a Comet or a Churchill. Both extremely powerful British armored forces. And I swear to God, that guy just did a jig. Moving on. So Dodge coming back. And uh, trying to take mid. So I'll give it this. At least that with combined effort. They at least were able to you know do some damage. That being said. It's going to be very very difficult. For them to take over this territory. We look over also over here at their forces. Again they don't exactly have a lot per se. But together they have a lot. They at least are combined. About the same as the allies. I say this right as a few die. And they slowly decrease. But you get the point. Two snipers. Jesus Christ dude. You can buy a med kit. Um, hopefully. I mean, like, you sneeze in their direction, those snipers are going to die. But nice shots. Vickers is coming in and just suppressing. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, you heal your snipers. My God. Oh, boy. And don't give... Don't... Nice mine. Oh, definitely nice mine. Now retreat your Vickers. Or just let it burn. That's fine, too. Nice for Cat Warfer again, hitting him from a flank. Wow, that thing took two shots. Why you are not retreating is beyond me. Oh yeah, just jump over and then retreat. That makes perfect sense. Don't retreat back. I don't know what it is with people in this game. Please just retreat. Don't keep fighting. Just retreat. My god, it's painful. Also, turn the MG this way. This way. You have a window. I know you have a window. I'm not saying you can't fight. I'm just saying learn when it's not right to fight. Oh my god, don't you dare put up another truck directly next to it. Don't, no, 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 bad, bad truck, bad. Alright, good truck, you're going farther away, good, good truck. Also, you did, you haven't decommissioned this for fuel. Very, very surprised about you. What do you get, oh, you're getting the mechanized. Along with a bunch of infantry, because, you know, you lost all of it. At least you had a thousand manpower, but that's still, you could have used that for something else. Dude, retreat the MG. Retreat the MG. Retreat the MG. Please. Please. Please, Ellie. There we go. Good, Ellie. No! Ellie! Wrong side! Wrong side, Ellie! Wrong side, Ellie! Oh, it's gonna die. It's retreating and... Annihilated. Yeah, it's probably just the MG glitch, honestly. Oh, my God. Again, why, Relic? Does the MG on a retreat set up? I don't know. Just don't know. Dude, if you're not going to use this, you could decommission it for at least, I think, 15 fuel. But anyway, so we have a Firefly and a Centaur. No, I mean, not bad. I mean, it's tearing apart the infantry, that's for sure. We do also have Firefly with rockets. These will fire rockets at the enemy, as we can see both. Down PT has a ton of munitions, which I think you should start using. Uh, it's not like these guys have a lot of fuel, so one good strafing support on this location could do a lot of damage and push them back. Um, but that's just me. This guy's saving up uh, probably for another bombing run. And also we have a centaur and two fireflies. I think there may be too many fireflies because I think they're overestimating how much armor this guy has. One's going to get another sniper to get a medic station or something. Like, I don't care if it's just infantry, in, infantry section handing out snacks. Just have that. Or, 
down PT. You can get this, and one good thing is you can actually get medics, so you can actually heal your sniper through that regard. Why the rockets are awesome, a direct shot, and the Agpanzer is almost dead. Black actually not doing a half bad job pushing back the infantry, but the mortar emplacement, mind you, is still there and will. Yep, there it goes. I used to get those a lot, and I still do. But the the map, the reason why I used them was not because they were because a they were good at AT and b they would they can easily break ice. So if anyone remembers the map Rejev, no, what not Rejev Winter? Oh, I use it sometimes Rejev Winter. Um. Oh god, what is it? Uh, it was the ice map that everyone hated, but I, I really loved it. It was my favorite map. Um, oh god, Rostov? Port of Rostov? No. Strafing support coming in, doing a lot of damage. Nice flank. Planes flying overhead. Centaur cleaning up the infantry. I'll think of the name. What about this? Rostov Winter? No, it's not Rostov Winter. Now the Yagpans are just being hit by that random strafing swarm bomb strikes. Doing a great job just tearing apart that infantry. Look at all the dead bodies. There's a lot of dead people here. I love how he's just keeping his unit there inside the designated area where he knows there's it could probably be fired upon. AA is hitting it, most likely, I'm assuming the HQ truck. And again, the rocket one will hit infantry, as so. And the other one would most likely hit, uh, ro rockets hit vehicles. Actually, where, what? Oh, this guy put the truck back at his base. Okay, I can see why, because again, you can't do a bombing strike at, in someone's base. You could, and technically you can, it's by glitch. But whatever, he did lose the centaur, unfortunately, in that huge assault. But, he did get himself a crocodile. And the crocodile was great, because again, it's a flamethrower, plus a gun that's still good against medium armor. And the Agri Panzer, while I wouldn't consider a medium tank, and has actually good front armor until that happens. Firefly has great penetration. The problem is the fact that well the this crocodile Churchill is great armor and tears pretty much enemies apart. It's great, and again infantry uh, hate it because of the flamethrower and the gun makes it very uh, makes it a great counter to tanks. So at this point, um, dodge as infantry and this guy Ellie has pretty much nothing. We have some breakthrough coming down, but as I don't know what's going to do. It, this is great for an enemy fortified position. For example, it would have been great calling in like this point right here. Because again, they can't move the fortifications. The explosions aren't going to do all that much to this infantry. Or I'm not, sorry, not infantry armor. It just won't. I love the crocodile. Crocodile's like, I'm sorry, you were, you, you were trying to, what were you doing? Also, dude, why would you retreat to here? Oh my god. I love it when people are like, I'm just going to retreat back. And they, for, of course, they don't switch it, so it just retreats back to this. And the, this, the, the thing killing the infantry still there, so it literally just burns them to death. Oh my god. Bombing runs coming in. There goes all the infantry and everything. My god, that was devastating. Oh boy. And, yeah, that's pr Remember, um... Wow, he... He's still there. I love how he just moved it back. And you're like, yeah, you can uh, face the front end of my crocodile. That's what you can do. The fire will slowly hurt the building, but the main gun will also pretty much tear it apart. And with that, I don't see really a way to get through this guy. I don't think has access to a King Tiger. This guy, again, could have access to the Yag, but like I say, he doesn't have the fuel for it. So it would take him, what, this, this thing is 280, right? Yeah, it would take him at least 8 minutes. So, he doesn't really have that time. And 
And um, this moment, I would say it's probably GG, honestly. E Ellie's like, I'm done, peace. That being said, there's very little time left, so it's pretty much them going to be sweeping up and pushing into the enemy base, I am assuming. Why are you building something in this base? You know it's going to die. This replay sucks. Hi, audience. Shut up. But my brother's back for Valentine's Day at home, so yeah, he's here. All right, I'm about to go, and then again, once he's done, we're gonna go see Deadpool. I can't wait. In 45 minutes, I will be feasting my. Shut up. I lo oh my god, this they. And you know what I love? They can't do anything to counter the crocodile. They see like. What are you going to do, over can Whiffer? Oh, come on, move up, Crocodile. You can show him who's boss. Okay, maybe over can Whiffer will push it back, but I swear he could probably put... Oh, nope. They're just going to bring up the sniper teams, clear, and then the Crocodile can move up. Trying to move up in the Bofors there. Amateurs. Oh, nice mortar hit. <laughs> Wow, they're so close to base that the snipers can't move up because there's... Oh, wow. Moving it back. Actually, I probably want to get the upgrade for the hazard removal because, again, you can... Um, I think it, a lot, it actually is a faster repair rate or at least upgrade them. I Let's see, do you do the upgrade? No, you can upgrade these to have, as you can see, heavy engineers, which again repair twice as fast. Which again are great for keeping more armor. Why do you keep getting Ag Panzers? Why? Why? I, I'm I'm I'm, a, I'm asking you why. I know you're never gonna answer me back, but I'm asking why because simply because of the fact that you have what was that? 120, 135, 21. A Panther would be better. I mean, I. Well, maybe not. Well, yeah, it would. I mean, Yak Panzer is good, but you know it keeps failing, so don't use it. Also, you do, and I quote unquote, saw artillery at this position. If this guy doesn't really notice, I'm going to be shocked. He doesn't notice. Oh my god. Never mind. Touche, Dodge. Touche. And I swear to God, he has 200. This is probably gonna die, isn't it? Yep, there it goes. Dude, I called in this. Nice rocket straight coming in. I called in that, and um, I, I, the uh, was this artillery, and um, I did um, zeroing artillery on the enemy. They thought I was breaking the game. It was so funny. Now, Churchill versus Yag, Yag has the advantage. But that being said, this thing could... E oh, wait, no, it I'm sorry. Long range, it does. But the thing is... With the support coming in... And also the Crocodile's ability to flank, which apparently, is, uh, again, you're not doing PT. You could easily move up and go around, but whatever. Oh, uh, the flank door is going to kill this Pretend Warper. Oh, wait, no, the flank door is in the front, so we can't really... Dude, just aim your gun forward. What is a two? What did, what does a, a crocodile get? So let's see. Uh, okay, so fuel tanks, maneuver maneuverability, and. Weapon range and crit shots repair. Okay, that's cool. All right, now it's the time, guys, to get up your men. Are you seriously sniper, dude? This is not a time to sniper. Sp well, I guess it is. I guess if you want, I guess it, right now you're just being a dick, and it's like, how can we be a dick? Sniper spam. Pick him off. Come on. Yes, yeah, so Soyvin is not exactly the brightest bulb in the bunch, but down PT is a pretty good player in my opinion. 
Not doing too bad for himself. Uh, Dodge is okay. I like his infantry. The, and, but again, I just, I feel like he's okay. He's not that great. And Ellie was, oh my god. Ellie was just bad. Oh, never mind. Dodge is not that great either. Hey guys, let's all stand around. Let's stand around the capture point and sing the capture point song. Oh my god, this is ter- Dude, why'd you drop the smoke? The snipers are picking them off. Because reasons, that's why. Reasons. There are currently five snipers chasing down men. Oh my god. You you called in a bombing run. Why did you call in a bombing run? There's nothing here. And before you say, Grusha is going for the infantry. Don't care about the infantry. Use it like around this point then hit this stuff. Don't worry about the infantry. The infantry is going to die. Your sni the sniper teams were getting that. And they're highly mobile, so there's no way your sniper's going to even hit them anyway. Anyway, snipers, you're going to hit those. Dude, I feel bad for this guy's infantry. Because, again, all these snipers are just going to pick off these men. And what is it? The Agbanger's not going to do anything. It's an anti-tank an anti gun. It can't hit snipers. Maybe it gets a lucky shot, but mo most of the time it's going to miss. How do you fail that badly with snipers? Just start shooting, my god. Please just send them. Okay, you're attacking the enemy base with a. Oh, never mind. Okay, just moving it around. Just attack the enemy base, please, because this yellow guy, I mean, Soylent can't to save his life. We're ready for the arc. Please, just end this. Just move in. You have all the points. Soylent can't get armor or... Dude, get armor, my god. You have comets. Don't get commandos. Get a comet, my god. You want to do a nice bombing run? Do it right here. We're on the edge, and it'll, it'll still hurt all this. Yes, it's cheap, but I don't care. Yeah, let's flank AI. That's a great idea. Anyway, this they're all saving up a ton of resources up to hold back the enemy assault. But most likely, there we go. A little bit of strafing support to open up the lane. Boom bada bing, rockets coming in, and a strafe over here to get the infantry. Nice a nice Sherman a crocodile combo, taking out the two-star Panzerwerfer. I uh, attempt Panzerwerfer. Jesus Christ, Yag Panzer, I can't speak. Rocket should kill it. Oh, it's so close. Oh my Oh my god, is that really the AI? Did the AI actually... Jesus Christ, the AI actually got a king. Oh my god. Of all the things to get, you got a king tiger. AI, you are so much better than the original guy. Now, of course they have a king. The problem is they have to get... Whoop, rocket's coming in. He's like, peace out, y'all. Oh my god, anyway. The king is good, but with the combo, with the firefly and stuff like that, eh. They need points now. Yeah, this guy, they're like, wait a second, hold on, King Tiger? <laughs> wait a second. So that's a pretty good idea. Again, quickly heal your guys, get them to the front lines. If you get these vetted up, you could do the crit shot. Oh my god. I've done the sniper thing once, and it's very, very annoying to the enemy. Extremely annoying. Another Yag answer, because why not? Why not, everybody? The king is still holding back, and this is the AI, which is weird. I guess AI is waiting. It's like, dude, I know you're going to mess this up. I'm just going to stay back. I'm not going to send out my king. 
Is this the game where they're gonna win at the last second? No. Oh. That's if you want to see that kind of game, check out the last replay. But no. Um, really surprised the AI got a king. <laughs> you don't see that every day. But oh, there's Falsham Magers. Oh, great. Try and decap this point, but guys, you need to take out one of these two. And guess what? You're not going to get near either. But anyway, that's a good game. As a GG. So let's check points. Yeah, down 33,202 kills. Easily best player. Soylent, I don't know what the heck you were doing. You're the quote unquote higher ranked player, and yet you played worse by far. So yeah. Um, again, half the damage, nearly half the kills, more losses, yeah, you kept, uh, yeah, it was just bad. Overall, though, everyone got MG, like, th those MGs at buildings were just, oh my god, terrible, I feel really bad. Um, anyway, so Ellie, uh, was not the best, Dodger was. And, oh, but by the way, how do you, me like, I'm sure they count, I think they count the bombing run for damage, so I don't know. With three bombing runs, how you get that much far less damage. But anyway, Dodge got the most, had slightly more kills. Losses went to Ellie, but yeah, Dodger, uh, Dodge got the uh, most damage. So very nice on that part. Overall, this was a good game. Again, it's not a nice short game. Not every game has to be an hour and 20 minutes or so like my last one, but it's nice to have a shorter one, 2v2. And also showed, again, a Crocodile, very good. Firefly, very good, and just... A very good player versus a player who has no idea what the heck he's doing, even though he's a higher ranked. And even on these two guys. And also, Joe, again, tag teaming work. They both tag team push back. However, simple key strategies like HQs, uh, vehicle, um, I guess, what vehicle picking, like why you kept getting this over and over, and just other things just hampered their progress and pretty much cost them the game. But in any case, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe, send in those replays, and I'll see you next time.